Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your, um, I'm just calling this like a super mega bonus reading. I really don't know what it is, but uh, let's jump right in here, Sag. And sorry, this deck is upside down. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, each one of these cards is going to represent something different. So uh, that's going to be that. But uh, Sagittarius, let's see here. I like that you have this freedom is yours card at the end. So it definitely says you're being set free. Uh, you start off with this no place like home card. Mm, I feel like it's time to leave a comfort zone is what I would say here with this no place like home card. I don't think there's anything wrong with um, kind of like having some, um, you know, having some, having a comfort zone that you kind of go back to every once in a while. But at the same time, I feel this reading is asking you to kind of like, it, it, this to me is like saying that you're on a journey, <laughs> which I feel like every single one of your readings recently has been saying. You have the Eight of Cups, which can be walking away from things that no longer serve you. But to me, the Eight of Cups is much deeper than that. I'm shooting this video, by the way, the day after the eclipse on May 1st. So, um, you know, the, the Eight of Cups is the only card in the tarot that has an eclipse on it. Everybody's been getting the Eight of Cups. It doesn't surprise me at all. Um, I feel like we are all cutting. <laughs> Sorry, my dog's trying to get in here, if, if you heard that noise. But, um, uh, you know, uh, the Eight of Cups is like kind of separating away from something. And I feel we're separating away from things that are stealing our energy. That's the important part. That's where I was going with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is about kind of separating away from things that suck your energy, that suck you down, plain and simple. It's like if something is a Debbie Downer in your life, chances are it's starting to either drift away or it's already been taken away from you, um, even if it makes you sad. Which is fine. It's, it's, you know, there's nothing wrong with grieving the loss of something. I, I see this happening for a lot of people, but I kind of see it happening for you on a deeper level where it's like maybe you have a person who you love, but they're kind of being taken away from your life. That doesn't mean forever. That doesn't mean, you know, that this person's going to be completely removed, but just for the time being, maybe you're spending less time with a person or they're kind of drifting away. And like I said, but maybe at the same time, they're like a Debbie Downer or something like that. I think we've all had a person like that in our life. For others, it could be, you know, for others of you, and pretty much for all of you, I feel that these these could be situations or experiences that really just kind of get you down. And uh, you know, I kind of like this because it is pulling you from a comfort zone, but at the same time, it's improving your life. Uh, in your current general energies, you have the strength card. I feel the universe is asking you to be strong if you are being if something is being removed from your life. That lion is like her inner demon, is her inner monster, whatever you want to call it. And she is taming it, right? She understands that you can never truly, you know, get rid of your shadow. She embraces her shadow. We don't want to get rid of our shadow. We want our shadow. I always tell people there's no, there's no honor in being defenseless, right? There's no honor in just being a defenseless person. Um, we Sometimes we have to defend ourselves. Sometimes we have to show our fangs. So to me, uh, you know, I'm of the belief, I don't know, my mom's a psychologist, right? <laughs> and that's why I'm like this. But what I would say is that I think that there are definitely times where maybe we have to defend ourselves or what, the teeth have to come out, right? So if we have a well-integrated shadow, then you know, which is the strength card is all about having a well-integrated shadow, um, then, then it comes out in, in the right circumstances and we don't overreact. We understand you know, how to kind of work with things. But what I feel like this is saying is that something that is leaving your life is like part of your shadow <laughs> and um you know but it's like a more like more the negative side of things right uh is what i would say um this deck just sorry this deck does not want to work on this table for whatever reason but um you know again i'm traveling in, in multiple top secret locations right now so uh you know we just have to work with it with the strength card you have the four pentacles leaving a comfort zone the death card definitely leaving a comfort zone and the six of pentacles the Six of Pentacles is about choosing what you feed, you know? The Six of Pentacles he's giving to one person, not the other. That's a pretty simple reading, as always. Um, but I feel like this part of the reading is saying, you know, you get to choose, you know, as the old saying goes, which wolf you feed, right? The one that's full of fear, anger, and guilt, or the one that's fear, full, full of, you know, happiness, joy, excitement, love, all that other stuff. And, you know, this first position, plain and simple, tell me, make sure that you feed the right stuff, not the wrong stuff. I'm a big believer in the fact that if we just like 1% uh, feed the right side more than the other side, that's all we need to do. I don't think we have to go crazy and be like always happy and joyful and all this other stuff. Um, you know, I feel like as long as for the most part, 
we're feeding the right things in life, uh, then we'll be perfectly fine. Uh, that's very simple. Uh, next, you have the Beaver Spirit says, lay a solid foundation. Another card connected to the home. Some of you definitely could be moving here, um, but I also feel that this is talking about the home. And some, of, like I said, some of you could be moving. Uh, this could also be some other foundation. The Four of Pentacles is a foundational energy. It represents foundation. And this card here, obviously, kind of represents a foundation. So if you're starting something new, uh, moving on to anything new, I feel it's just saying lay a solid foundation. Uh, next, uh, in the area of messages from your future self, you have the Five of Pentacles. Mm, I do feel like this is asking you to be careful of your spending at this time here uh, with this energy, Sagittarius. I'm getting a very strange message. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm getting a message about kind of like superstitions, you know, and that's, that's what's popping into my head. I have like weird superstitions popping into my head. There's a superstition, um, you know, there are like many superstitions, but I, again, I feel this boils down, let's just put it this way. I feel like this has to boil down, boils down to your beliefs. If you feel like something is lucky, for example, then I would do it. For some reason, I feel like it's really important, you know, like we said over here, that you are kind of feeding the right thing. And sometimes I feel if we like believe, if we believe something to be true, that's all that matters, whether it's true or not. It's like, you know, it's like if you have like uh, a lucky fishing hat and you believe it's lucky, then you're probably going to catch more fish. Is it really because of the hat? Probably not. But maybe because you believe it is, that that's why it is. And that's what I get here. If you have any superstitions or anything like that, I would go for it at this time. Uh, I don't know why that popped into my head, but it did. Uh, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Magician. So definitely some sort of new beginning coming in for you. Every single one of those cards right there represents a new beginning to me. Magician represents needing to have a new beginning. The Knight of Wands is on a new adventure. And the Nine of Pentacles is my card of newness. So uh, I feel there's like a major new beginning coming in for you here. The Nine of Pentacles would tell me that you're making changes due to your environment. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of your environment. There is a snail right down here on the card. And the snail wears its home on its back. So it represents your environment where you live and things like that. I feel like you're protecting your environment or you need to protect your environment with that Nine of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands... Uh, I feel is like saying that you could be going on adventure. The magician, funny enough, he's pointing down to the Eight of Cups. We're definitely going to look into that connection and see what's going on there. Uh, next, you have the Freedom is Yours card. I feel like you need to set yourself free with this energy at this time. The, um, the horse spirit is about momentum. And uh, with all the energy that we used to have in Capricorn, we still have Pluto in Capricorn, but you know we had a lot of energy in Capricorn. And my thing with that is, is that it's like if something is going to work, then there's probably going to be a lot of momentum. And what I mean by that is it's like the work that you do carries forward quite a bit, you know, or things kind of progress very quickly. Sorry if you can hear my dog. She is <laughs> whining outside the door. But anyway, um, she's fine. My brother is here watching her. She is fine. Um, and, and technically it's his dog, not mine, right? But she likes me more, Sagittarius. And, um, you know, anyway, what I would say here is I feel you need to pay attention to things where you're like, where momentum is happening, where you do a little bit of work, but get more out of it. You know, uh, you have the death card here. Uh, this is coming up in the position of the, of unexpected good news that could be happening for you. Uh, the death card is a card of change or going through a change. You have the death card twice. We know this whole entire reading is about some sort of transformation, what I feel here is I feel like something is like working out for you really well. And what I mean by that is like if you're trying to make a change, if you're trying to move, I feel that this is referring to like an approval or going through an approval process. Maybe you're trying to get a mortgage or like trying to get approved for an apartment or something along those lines. I feel like things are, I feel like what's surprising here or unexpected is that maybe you didn't think you were going to get approved or you didn't feel like things were going to fall into place, but they do. I also feel like if you're meant to do something, again, it's going to fall into place. There's going to be momentum. You know, to give you an example, years ago, my brother and I moved to Seattle. And when we moved there, literally, we thought about moving there. And my brother saw this job that he wanted. And so he goes, and went, while we were just traveling, we weren't even thinking about moving there. He just get, He's like, I'm going to try to get this job. He goes and he gets a job, like literally hired on the spot for this job. It's like things just fell into place when, when we moved there. And I kind of get that feeling here where maybe it's not that surprising, but, you know, I feel like things are just going to fall into place and it's going to be like the universe is like giving you green lights. Let's put it that way. Uh, you have the death card. 
I mean, with the death card, you have the Knight of Swords, the Emperor, and the Six of Swords. Definitely would be things happening quickly. The Knight of Swords is things happening rapidly or rapid changes. The Emperor is like sticking to a plan or following a plan. And the Six of Swords is moving on a calmer shore. So again, major improvements. Any changes that you're making are leading to major improvements. Uh, again, I know it's boring, uh, Sagittarius, but honestly, what I would say to you here is if you're thinking about making, you know, if you're making any change at all, period, um, then I feel like it's going to be very successful for you. You could be changing jobs, businesses, uh, relationships, pretty much anything. Uh, next in the area of the path that you're on right now, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, this is basically, are you on the right path? I would say yes. Queen of Pentacles is actually a card of focus, and it says you are focusing on the right things. So I feel like you are very focused on the right things at this time, and I really like that for you just in general. Uh, let's clarify through here with the Queen of Pentacles. Damn, you have the Empress, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Definitely on the right path. So Ten of Pentacles is a card of ultimate success and abundance. The Empress is a card of ultimate success and abundance and creation as well. I feel like you're going to like more fertile grounds here is what this is saying. And this could be um, financially. This could also be uh, in love as well. But the Empress, she normally has a scepter. She uses that scepter to grow the wheat that is in front of her. And I feel if you're making a change that um, <laughs> that it is, sorry, <laughs> I'm laughing at the dog, that my brother is clearly not watching. But I don't know if you can hear her or not, but she's whining. Um, the Empress is a card of abundance. Again, she's like going like that and she's creating abundance in front of her. The Ten of Pentacles, ultimate success. Seven of Cups, I feel, is kind of like saying you will receive what you focus on. Seven of Cups really wants us to kind of realize that we can choose to focus on the positive or the negative in any situation, but we get what we focus on with the Seven of Cups. Uh, next, uh, this position kind of represents um, any uh, something that could be. Uh, I think that we all have opportunities in life to create certain things and whether we do or not is up to us, you know? And so I feel like there is an opportunity for you to kind of spread your wings and fly is what this is saying, the four of pentacles. And again, this position is meant to represent something that you don't necessarily have to do, but the opportunity exists. And the four of pentacles, again, would represent kind of like leaving a comfort zone or doing something different uh, with your life. Let's see. Uh, with the four of pentacles, you have the hangman, the judgment card, and the Five of Swords. The Hangman is a card of delays. Um, it's also a card of enlightenment. So I feel like some of you have been thinking about making a change. Judgment card is about answering the call. Judgment, the people in the Judgment card, they're standing in coffins. The coffin represents their old life. Outside of it represents their new life. And the Five of Swords could be you taking a risk. So I do feel for some of you, that would be a great time to take the risk of spreading your wings and flying. I feel really, this reading is pretty simple. <laughs> I feel like what it's saying is what you are going to be discovering is momentum. If you're, get, if you're looking for love and if you find a person where things naturally just move forward with momentum, meaning you're building more and more speed, but not necessarily like speed just to be fast, but speed because things are going well. And you're building, momentum is deeper than that as well. Momentum, it doesn't necessarily have to do with speed. It has to do with just things moving forward, right? And I kind of feel that here. It's like, if it's love, I feel like you're going to be building momentum with a person where it's like, it's almost effort, almost effortless, you know? And that's like the feeling I get here. If this is in work or business, same thing, I feel, or even a move. It's like things are just falling into place. So I really like this for you here, Sag. Uh, finally, in the area of messages from your guides, you have the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is walking away from things that no longer serve you. So, like I said, I feel that some of you need to walk away from something. The Magician is pointing to that Eight of Cups, like I said, and I feel like it, it's saying that there needs to be a new beginning. The Magician is all about needing to have a new beginning. I, I personally, I like the Magician, but sometimes I think he represents no movement. He can represent really kind of like thinking about things and not making a change. So I really feel that this reading is really talking a lot about movement. That doesn't necessarily mean you're moving, but it could mean it could mean that, but it could also just mean getting to work or doing things. The magician is about manifesting things with your words. And same thing with the Empress as well. She really is the ultimate expression of, of um, you know manifestation because she understands that she comes from, you know, infinite source intelligence, infinite source energy, whatever you want to call it. There's a waterfall that's normally flowing behind her. And again, it represents the fact that she understands that she's coming from infinite 
energy and that there is no limitation that everything will be created you know from the formless basically and because she believes that it happens plain and simple and i kind of get that feeling for you here um i also just realized that you have the emperor and the empress so it uh, could be a divine counterpart coming in for you in love but let's clarify this eight of cups um you have the nine of cups the queen of pentacles and the six of wands so a lot of success coming in through a new beginning the nine of cups i feel like is saying make a wish at this time and you have the queen of pentacles twice which i really feel is saying that it's time for you to kind of like focus on your resources but there's you know kind of like everybody else <laughs> in these bonus readings there's been a focus on focus and you know, everybody says you're repeating yourself, but at the same time, nine of pentacles, queen of pentacles twice. It's like, I'm not making it up. It's, you know, don't shoot the messenger, as they say. I mean, these are the cards that I'm getting. So, um, you know, I could come up with some sort of lie about how your ex is coming back and is like crying in their mama's basement every single night. Maybe that would get more views, but, um, you know, again, that's not, what, that's not what I'm about here, Sagittarius. So what I would say here is I would focus on the things that you want because you're going to get it plain and simple. And I would also re say that I feel like things are going to be manifesting very, very quickly uh, with this horse spirit. But this looks pretty good. So thank you for being here, Sagittarius. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.